Former State Department and Clinton campaign staffer has been granted immunity by the Justice Department to talk to investigators about former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server to do government business. What does this mean for the Democratic presidential frontrunner? WSJ reporter Devlin Barrett joins us now from our Washington bureau to discuss. Hi, Devlin. What do we know about this staffer and why he was under investigation? Well, Brian Pagliano has been a, a key figure in this whole process from the point of view of investigators and Congress because he was a former Clinton campaign staffer, their IT guy during the 2008 run for president, and he was eventually uh, hired by the State Department as well to do IT work there. And he's the one who set up the home server in Clinton's New York home to handle her email. So he's always been an, a, a figure that investigators very much want to talk to. So does Mr. Pagliano's immunity put more pressure on Ms. Clinton then? Not necessarily. You know, his his contention, and, and it hasn't changed, I'm told, based on uh, his, his agreement with the prosecutors, his contention is that he didn't do anything wrong and he did what he was told to do. Right. Um, so that that has that position hasn't changed according to according to the folks I've spoken to. I think that the real issue is, does he have any more information that prosecutors and, and investigators haven't haven't seen to date that changes their understanding of what this case is about and what happened here, uh, or does he essentially come come in and tell them all the things that you know he's he's been sort of saying or hinting at privately, which is he doesn't think anything wrong was done here. So is this really a significant development then? This has been going on now for a while. It has been going on for a long time. And, and I think the significance of it is it shows progress in the investigation. The, the fact that he is talking to investigators, that's, that's another you know, piece of the case that they now have access to. So it is progress, um, but it doesn't really answer the question is, is anyone in more trouble today than they were yesterday? Absolutely. Now, so if the FBI does find classified information was mishandled by then Secretary of State Clinton, what could the penalties be? Could this derail her presidential campaign? Well, it certainly already created significant problems for a presidential campaign. Just, just the idea that she would use private email to conduct government business let alone possibly classified government business, is, has been a big deal and has definitely affected her campaign. Derailing, I think, is a, is, a, is a tough one because I think to really derail someone at this point, you'd have to have you know, real criminal charges as a result of this. And it's still not clear that there will be anyone charged criminally from, from this process. Uh, but that's still a decision they have yet to make. So has the Clinton campaign responded to this news yet? Yeah, they say they're happy that he's cooperating. They're happy that he's talking. They, they urged when, if you go back to last year, he refused to testify to Congress about this. He, he invoked his Fifth Amendment rights. And what people said at the time was they, they were wary of going before Congress and being essentially just attacked. Uh, and they felt like testifying before Congress was a trap. Back then, the Clinton campaign said, we'd like him to testify. We'd like him to talk and cooperate. Uh, but you know, it's obviously they can't make him do that. Right. So the Clinton campaign has been saying that they are happy he's talking because, again, their position, they don't believe, you know, the people involved did anything wrong. Although she does, Mrs. Clinton does say it was a mistake in retrospect to have used private email for work. All right. Well, we're certain to be hearing more about this in the days ahead. Devlin Barrett in Washington, thank you so much for that. Thank you.